Lara with Ribbon and Bows Oh My. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super big Jumbo Jojo bow using 3 inch rainbow solid grow grain. We're using 56 inches so this is going to feel kind of crazy but I promise it's the right measurements. So we're going to start the way we always do by matching our ends and flipping our top end over. And we're going to hold this snug and trim at an angle with our fabric scissors. and then go ahead and seal your ends. Now, if you're not already using fabric scissors, they're the best. They're super heavy, they're metal. You just have to make sure that you're not using them for more than cutting fabric, because you don't want them to dull down. So after we've sealed our ends, we're gonna smooth our ribbon out, no folds, and then match our ends together so that the tips are level with one another. And then for a Jojo bow, we're gonna fold them down pretty far away from the tip. So maybe three to three and a half inches. We're gonna fold this over and make a really visible crease because this crease is gonna help us evenly space our loops when we go to fold the bow. So now go down to the bottom of your length of ribbon where you've created a loop and bring it up to the top and crease this too. And then go down to that last loop that you've created, bring it up, and make a nice visible crease here as well. So now we're going to unfold our length of ribbon, and you can see where our creases are real good and visible. We're going to start with our rightmost crease and bring it down right on top of the one adjacent to it on the left. So this first angle is the angle that you're going to want to repeat for the rest of your bow. So make sure you like the way it looks and you're folding crease on top of crease. And then you're going to go to your crease to the left and try and mirror the angle that you created on the right. And adjust as much as you need to to make sure you're happy with the way it looks. So now we're just going to rotate over and then flip our ribbon under and send that fourth crease behind our top two layers, but in front of our third layer. And you can see where my creases, if I pull them together, I can get them to match a little bit. And that means that my loops are evenly spaced. And so now flip that last and final crease down over top of your bow, and make sure your angles are the same all the way around. Now before you start creasing, your bow's gonna feel pretty big and unwieldy, but hold everything tight and send your first fold back. And then you wanna make folds above and below, accordion style, that first crease that you sent back. And you want as much as possible for the folds to be about the same thickness. Kind of like if you're folding a towel, you want all of the ridges and the ends to match up evenly so it fits in the drawer nicely. So now we're gonna take our zip tie and wrap it around our bow. And we're going to tighten it, but only so that it's just hugging our loops. We don't want it to be too, too snug. We want to keep all of our moves in place, but still have room to make a couple more moves if we need to straighten our bow up. And so my creases are looking pretty good right now. I may move them around just a little bit to make sure that everybody's even. Kind of like that folded towel we were talking about earlier, so that all of my ends and my loops are about the same height. So it's looking good, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten my zip tie almost all the way. I want to leave enough room for my uncovered alligator clip to go in the back. Now uncovered clips don't need quite as much room as the covered kind, so you can leave just a little bit. So now trim your zip tie, making sure that the knob of the zip tie is far away from the center of your bow so you can't see it from the front. And we're going to flip it over and take our alligator clip and place the slope side down against the back of the bow and just wedge it under there. Now if it's feeling a little loose, that's okay because we're going to use some hot glue and our center ribbon to make this a little bit more snug. So place your 3 eighths or if you use Raybon rhinestone centers, that would be a great option too. Place that down on the inside of your clip and then wrap it around the front and make sure that you like the way it looks before you glue it all the way down. And 
that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to try and hold a whole bunch of things in a strange way all at once by holding my 3 8 and my clip open in my left hand and putting glue underneath that 3 8 ribbon so I seal it down to itself. There we go. Alright, that looks good. I want to make sure that I like the way it looks before the glue sets. So I'm going to trim the excess of my tail and then seal the end. And then I like to use the metal tip of the lighter to just make sure that once I have that good bead, I can smooth it down on top of the ribbon and really seal it there. All right, that's a really big, solid rainbow grain Jojo bow. It's probably about six inches all the way across. This ribbon is gorgeous. We have it in three inches and one and a half inch. And again, it is a solid grain rainbow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Find all these supplies and so much more at ribbonandbowsonline.com.